The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org slash action. Almost a month after 13-year-old Gary Thielander went missing, his family is talking about their continued effort to find answers. As Mel Meyer reports from International Falls, his family is concerned that no new leads have surfaced. Bobby Matthews says her family has been searching every single day. My grandparents are driving up and down the road every single day looking for him. The search started on February 23rd when the Evergreen House called Bemidji Police just 10 minutes after he left the shelter around 8.30 a.m. He had been placed there after an argument with his sister, who is his legal guardian. He was just there for 72 hours is what it was supposed to be. The Evergreen House called Matthews around 9.15, but police didn't call Matthews until about 1.30 30 when he still hadn't been found. Gary doesn't have any friends that we're aware of in Bemidji. There were two confirmed sightings of Tealander at the Turtle River Chop House and the other place about a half mile down the road around 4.30 p.m. that same day. There were other sightings of Tealander along Highway 71 north of Black Duck, but then nothing. Gary's family members are concerned and worried that he may have tried to walk all the way back here to International Falls. His family fears the worst. I don't know if somebody picked him up. He could have possibly been abducted because there has been absolutely no contact with family or friends. Like that's the sweatshirt he was wearing. She has been disappointed with police action and worries that not all leads have been fully investigated. She says other organizations have offered to help. The Bemidji Police Department has declined any assistance at this time. The family hopes now that people will look around their property and sheds and other hiding places and hope that they'll find him as he was wearing just sweatpants and a hoodie. Our main concern right now is just to know that he is okay, just a phone call, um, some sort of message that he is at least alive. In International Falls, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. His family is offering a $5,000 reward with information that leads to Tealander's current whereabouts. A detailed description of Tealander and his timeline of his disappearance can all be found at our website at lptv.org news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.